As baby boomers age, we know that the Medicare system will face important demographic changes. We use the Schaefer Center's future elderly model to predict what the Medicare population will look like by 2030 and what that will mean for taxpayers. Between 2010 and 2030, the population of Americans who are 65 and older will grow from 40 million to 67 million. Also, the average Medicare beneficiary will look quite a bit different. In 2030, there will be more women Medicare patients than men, just like today. But we project that the Medicare population will be younger, more educated, more likely to be non-smoker, and will have a longer life expectancy. Despite these good news, many will have worse health outcomes. The share of obese Medicare patients will rise from 1 in 4 to 1 in 2. They will also be more likely to be disabled and have more chronic health conditions like hypertension and diabetes. In particular, the rate of diabetes will rise from 1 in 4 to nearly 4 in 10. A larger older population with longer life expectancies but worse health outcomes will lead to increased Medicare spending. In 2010, the estimated lifetime Medicare spending for a 65-year-old was $131,000. By 2030, that figure is expected to increase 72% to over $200,000. Overall Medicare spending will increase from half a trillion to $1.2 trillion. Our findings lead us to believe that policymakers should focus on preventing disease rather than just treating it after it appears. Not only would this improve population health and the quality of life of older Americans, it could also save Medicare a lot of money.